Hare Krishna everyone, we are continuing to read the teachings of Lord Kapila, the book by His Divine Grace, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, Chapter 14, Bhakti as Ultimate Liberation. Hmm. The spirit soul has two coverings, subtle and gross. The gross body is composed of earth, water, fire, air and ether. The subtle body is composed of mind, intelligence and ego. Of the eight material elements, five are gross and three are subtle. We cannot see the subtle and the soul is even more subtle. Anyone with eyes can see the body, but not everyone can perceive the soul, the actual person. When we understand that the soul or the person has left the body, we cry, Oh, my friend has left. We can perceive that the body is there, but something is obviously missing. Thus, one's friend is actually different from the body. At the present moment when we say, This is my friend, we refer to the body, but that is simply the vision of an animal. Animals think, this is my dog friend and this is my mother dog. They cannot see beyond the gross body. Similarly, we cannot see the soul. And if we cannot see the minute soul, how can we hope to see God with these blunt eyes? We cannot actually see one another. How then can we hope to see God? It is stated, Atashri Krishna Nama Dina Bhave Grahyam Indriyaih. Material senses cannot appreciate Krishna's holy name, form, qualities, and pastimes. Unquote. Our present senses are incapable of seeing God. Generally, at death, we can understand that something has gone. We understand that what we were seeing was not actually our friend, but a lump of matter. This is knowledge. However, one who understands before death, before death, that the body is simply a lump of matter, is called a wise man. He sees the soul through the eyes of knowledge. Those who are on the gross platform, who are like animals, can see neither the soul nor Bhagavan. The karmis, the gross fruitive workers, do not understand the distinction between the body and the soul. Out of many millions of karmis, there may be one jnani one wise man who can understand who can understand the jnani knows that he is not the body and out of many millions of jnanis one may be actually liberated the mayavadis think that because they are spirit soul they are one with the supreme being equal in quality does not mean that one is the supreme soul because the Mayavadis think that they have become one with Narayan they address one another as Narayan they say you are Narayan I am Narayan everyone is Narayan from this misconception the idea of Daridra Narayan poor Narayan arises. The devotees, fully engaged in the service of the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord, do not think in this way. They think, quote, if I am one with the Supreme, how is it I have fallen into this condition? Unquote. They know that a drop of sea water is one in quality with the vast ocean, but they also know 
that a drop of water is never equal to the ocean itself. Sometimes the Mayavadis worship Lord Vishnu, but they do not actually believe in the form of Lord Vishnu. They consider his image to be some imaginary form to utilize as a means for self-realization. Mayavadis say that the absolute truth has no rupa, no form, but it is stated Ishvara Parama Krishna Satchit Ananda Vigraha Quote Krishna, who is known as Govinda, is the supreme controller. He has an eternal, blissful, spiritual body. Unquote. The word Vigraha refers to the spiritual supreme form to the supreme form, but the Mayavadis do not understand this. There are so many so-called Vaishnavas who worship Lord Vishnu with the aim of becoming one with the supreme. They sometimes give the example of a drop of water merging into the great ocean itself. This is simply nonsense. The ocean is a combination of countless molecules of water and it is impossible for one molecule to merge into the totality. The sunshine is a combination of countless trillions of small shining particles and each particle has its individual identity as an atom. Because we do not have the eyes to see the small atomic divisions we think they are all one, but actually they are not homogeneous. Similarly, although we are very small particles of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, we all have different identities. In Bhagavad Gita 2.12, Shri Krishna says, Natve vaham jatu nasam natvam neme janadhipa Quote, Never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor all these kings, nor in the future shall any of us cease to be. Unquote. Krishna never says that he, Arjuna, and all the soldiers shall eventually become one. Rather, he says that everyone will retain their own individuality. Those who have complete knowledge never think that in the future they will become one with the Supreme. They simply want to remain in their constitutional position as part and parcel of Krishna. Although we are now covered by the material body, the material body can be easily dissolved by the process of Bhakti Yoga. If we are strong in Bhakti Yoga, we actually no longer have a material body, but a spiritual one. We are free. Jai. We are free. When we are baffled, we want to become the husband of the goddess of fortune, goddess Lakshmi. The husband of goddess Lakshmi is Narayan, God himself. In this material world, we are hankering after Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, but we are frustrated in our attempts. We think, now let me become the husband of Lakshmi. Actually, no one can enjoy Lakshmi but Narayan. Even exalted demigods like Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva are inferior to Narayan, to Lord Narayan. But we are so foolish that we are thinking of assuming Narayana's position or making Narayana into Daridra Narayan, the poor man in the street. 
The Shastras never equalize Narayan with anyone, not even Lord Brahma or Lord Shiva. What to speak of foolish rascals. One may ask why Narayan has created us, why is it that we are part and parcel of Narayan? Eko Bahushyam. Why has Narayan become many? Why? We shall read about it tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in today. The link to this book is in the description. Please check out our website shravanamdiaries.com and we shall see you tomorrow. Hare Krishna.